U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken will head to Mexico this week to discuss the unprecedented number of migrants entering the U.S. across the Mexican border. This comes as a caravan of 6,000 people attempts to make the 1,700-kilometer journey from the Guatemalan border to Texas. U.S. Border Police have reported a spike in the number of attempted border crossings to around 10,000 per day. <laughs> For the thousands of people making the long trip across Mexico, there was nothing particularly festive about Christmas this year. This human caravan made up of people from across Central America and the Caribbean is slowly trudging northwards under the heat of the Mexican sun. Some are laden with their belongings, others carry small children in their arms, all of them are tired from the arduous journey. We've walked a lot. Honestly, I don't know how many kilometers. My daughter can't walk anymore. I carry her in my arms because she needs to rest. She's only three years old. And she's not healthy. She's ill. At around 6,000 strong, it's the largest human caravan to try to make the journey in over a year. Some left their homes to escape violence, others to get away from economic hardship. But they're all heading to the US to try to forge a better life for themselves and their families. It's a journey fraught with danger. Countless migrants fall prey to criminal gangs, or face extortion by police and immigration officials. <coughs> Several have also drowned trying to cross the Rio Grande, the river separating Mexico and the US. This footage, taken by other migrants, shows three men struggling to stay afloat in the river's murky depths. <laughs> Despite the perils, the number of people making the journey is increasing. And with an election year looming on both sides of the border, that could have wide-ranging political implications.